Greetings everybody from Germany. My name is Jeff and I'm an American who lives here. I often get questions from people in the United States about what kind of currency they use over here. Well, Germany used to have the Deutschmark and they had Pfennigs, which were like cents, 100 Pfennigs and a mark. Around the year 2000, with the rest of the European Union, they went to what's called the Euro dollar. They use it in France, um, probably Spain, Austria, Germany, Italy, Malta, and several other, Belgium, several other countries. There are a few who don't use it, who do have their own currency, but I can't name them offhand. But anyway, they have different denominations, and it works differently than in the United States. The 100 euro is the biggest bill that I have. I know they make them in bigger denominations, probably 500 and 1,000 and such, but that's too rich for my blood. The next lower one is the 50, okay? Then you have the 20. This is a 20 euro note. Then below that, you have the 10 euro note. And below that, you have the lowest paper currency, which is five euros. Here's how they all look up next to each other. They're different sizes and different colors. Unlike the U.S. dollar, which is all green, and they're all the same size. Now, below that, they have coins. That is two euros right there, and it's maybe a little bigger than a quarter. They have the one euro front and back there, which is a little smaller than a quarter. And then they have the 50-cent piece right there, front and back. The 20-cent piece, that's 20 cents to a, um, out of 100 for a euro, they don't have a quarter here. They don't have a 25 cent piece. Then below that, they have the dime. That's 10 cents front and back of a euro. That's five cents. For some reason, the five, the five cents is shinier than the 10 cents, but okay, that would be like our nickel. Here is a two cent. This is two, and this is one cent. That's one cent of the European dollar. Um, right now, the exchange rate with the euro is about a dollar 11 united states currency to one euro dollar when i got here in august it was 97 american cents to a dollar so the value of the dollar has fallen slightly against the euro probably because of the amount of fiat currency that our u.s federal reserve system has printed and it slightly devalued devalued the dollar but nonetheless uh Nothing spectacular. I just laid this out on a blanket on the bed, just sharing it with everybody who was curious. I've had several of my friends in the States ask me about this. And I do find that the uh, different sizes is kind of, I don't know, it's harder to get it to fit correctly in your wallet. But, you know, you get used to it. And the coins, I still have trouble with counting it. But I have never once ever been given the wrong change back at a store. The cashiers in there are pretty fast. So anyway, hope you liked the video. If you didn't, that's okay too. Hopefully you learned something from it. Um, anyway, have a great afternoon.